everybody, it's Nicole from Cardstock Headquarters, and today we're going to use some brand new cardstock that uh, Cardstock Headquarters has in their warehouse, and it's called Glitz Silver. Blue Sky is the name of this one, and it is beautiful and it does not flake. So you can see me rubbing my finger on it, and it does not have glitter falling all over the place. So I love this stuff. I just started playing with it today, and you guys are just going to adore this cardstock. And then I have the Arroyo 4Z cardstock that I'm going to be using, and also the Lemonade Weave. And then we also just got in the iRock tool by Imagines. And we're going to, I have not even used this yet. We're going to open it from package, and we are going to see how well we like it. And then we also have um, the gems and the flowers and the stencil kit here from iRock as well. So we are going to use those things in this simple layout, and let's see what we can do. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to put my um, Glitz Blue Sky cardstock in my e-craft machine. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my e-craft machine. And I have it in manual portrait mode, and I actually want to go ahead and do a no tab. So I'm going to arrow to the left to get no tabs and enter. Okay, and now my settings are where they want to be, and then I'm going to go ahead and go and get my butterfly, because I'm going to use a butterfly on this layout, and I want the ones, I'm not going to draw or anything, the glitter paper is so beautiful that you don't even need to draw, so I'm going to go ahead and load my cardstock, and this cardstock is from Paper Accents, and they did a beautiful job creating this cardstock, and it works just wonderful in the eCraft machine. I do have my pressure setting at 8, and I'm going to press enter, because that's the butterfly I want, and I'm going to go down to 4 inches, press enter, it's going to put it in the queue for me, and I'm going to cut it. Okay, and since I did this butterfly with no tabs at all, watch this image just fall off of our paper here. Just going to come right out. Look at that. Just comes right out. And there's our beautiful glittery butterfly. Can you guys see that? Um, let me put it against this. How beautifully sparkly and shiny that is. It's just gorgeous in person. I wish you guys could see it better. So that is going to be on our layout. The next thing I'm going to do is get all set up so you guys can see me put this layout together. Okay, so I have the um, cute little butterfly that we cut out with our e-craft machine and I'm gonna rip, I think I'm gonna rip just like a three inch border. Now if I tear towards me then I will get the rough edge of my tearing, which is which I want. Okay, so I'm just going to place that right here along that edge, and I'm going to put my butterfly probably right here. Now what I did to save time for you guys is I just cut some um, black cardstock and some green tea orange peel cardstock as well just to um, map my photo. Okay, so I'm just going to place those here. Put that one here. I might move things around because I have not created this layout um, previously for you guys. I'm just now um, kind of creating it. So we're just going to put the pictures there. I don't even know if I'm going to use these pictures, but so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So I've got the butterfly on there. And now, you know what? I think I also, um, when playing around with this machine, I also cut out my daughter's name. So I will put those on there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in these letters. I'm just, we call her name's Ariana, but we call her Ari for short. And when I'm really lazy, I call her R. So look at those glitter letters, aren't they beautiful? Okay, and then we have our our little butterfly there. And what are we going to do? Let's open this package up here. And it does require batteries, so. I'm going to need to go ahead and load the batteries and then I will show you guys how this works. Okay, the batteries are all loaded and it was really easy. You just um, push this open 
and put the batteries in and then slide it back in. Okay, so it's that easy. Now, um, it comes, this little accessory pack, the stencil kit comes with a stencil on it. And what I'm going to do to make it easier on me is I'm going to put this where I want it and then I'm just going to put the dots with a pencil on my layout where I'm going to put the gems. So we're going to just line that up and I'm not even going to use the whole image. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. So I want it to look like my butterfly is going around. So I'm just going to put little dots with my pencil. following my image and I actually am going to go on this sheet too so let me make sure this is lined up okay I'm going to bring that around just like that okay so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to heat the very first one and then I will do this off camera because it does take just a little bit of time the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do, let's see, let's pick just a little one. Okay, so I'm going to place my uh, rhinestone right there, my gem, and I'm going to hold down this button and make sure that my um, pink slide button is on on, and then I'm going to hold down this button, and I'm just going to place the tip of the tool, which is right there, onto the gem itself. And I'm going to hold it there until I feel that it's going to adhere. You can kind of feel it. And it also says about 15 seconds on the packaging. So I'm sure it's, you know, each one is different. Okay. So it's there. And there it is. And now it's on my project. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me switch this to off. See if I can hold this up a little bit. But my gem is right there and fixed to the paper. So I'll go ahead and do those and then come back. Okay, you guys, so I have got the gems on there. I have to tell you this iRock tool rocks. I love it. Um, I know my gems aren't gonna come off. Look how I mean I'm pushing hard trying to move those, and they're not gonna go anywhere, which is great. So um, and you know, here's great to glitter cardstock. Um, something that the other sticker gems wouldn't do. So that is awesome. We'll have those available on our website for you guys to purchase. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up this layout. So first I want to glue on my pictures. So I'm not going to glue on that picture. I'm sorry because I don't think these are the pictures I'm going to be using. But I will glue on my frames. Put that right there. I'm just going to line it up. Line that one up. Actually, that needs to be moved over just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. All right, we're going to put those there. Let's pretend these are the pictures I'm going to use. Okay, and then I'm going to put Ari's name. And I'm going to just put those. I'm not going to put straight in it like, it, like it's part of the butterfly. Like the butterfly is spelling her name. Okay, so we we'll glue those on. I'm just going to use some glue here. That there. Okay, let's put this eye on here. The R on. There. Okay, and the A. You can also run these letters through like a sticker maker or something if you want. Um, for those of you that have kids with a lot longer names, let's see where do I want that. Yeah, I kind of like it right there. Okay, let's go ahead and put our butterfly on. Put her right here. 
to make sure she's on the page there. Like that. Okay, now you also can add some flowers down in this corner. Um, I usually put my journaling down at the bottom, um, or if there's room, I'll put it at top. But we can add some pretty flowers. See, let's do like a pink, two greens down at the end here. And let's see, let's go ahead and put the green. I rock gems in the green one. Like that. And I think I used all the pink up, so let's see. We could actually do a green in all of them. Okay, let's use our I rock tool to set those. Go ahead and push. You see the light there? Light up. And See, I'm gonna move a picture away. You'll feel it when it starts to heat up. There, okay, that one's on. And I just want these to line up at the edge of my picture here, so. See, I want that one right there. Put that in its place. Put the tool on top. And the glue is going all the way through the silk flower um, center where there was a little bit of hole and holding that flower in place as well. So you don't need any extra adhesive. Okay, that one's in the place. Now we've got this one left. And as you go through, the first one takes longer, and then um, because the tool's already really heated up, it's not as long for the, the next ones. So there you go. Slide my thing off. I'm going to take these pictures off. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Make sure that's lined up. Put this one up right to those flowers. Line that up. And there you've got a simple but very cute layout. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll be doing more videos. Sorry for the long wait for this one. I got sick and you guys wouldn't have been able to hear me because I lost my voice. So um, I enjoyed making this for you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.